So this is Word 2013. The initial layout looks very much like Word 2010, except obviously we've got the new Word icon up here, very blue oriented, but a much darker blue than previously. You see we have the home ribbon with its groups, clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, editing, the insert ribbon, where we have our groups again, pages, tables, apps for office, media, online video, so you can insert YouTube videos instantly, headers and footers, comments, text, symbols. The design allows you to apply very quickly a built-in template style, really. So I could choose that particular option there, and my document is reformatted, or that one there. My document is formatted to match that new style. Now, in order for these to really have a major effect, you would need to be using the styles from the home ribbon here. So these styles will change depending on the design you choose here. We have page layout, margins, orientation, size, columns. References allow you to do table of contents, looking up with bibliography, insert footnotes, and endnotes, etc. Mailings for your mail merge. Review, spelling and grammar, comments, track changes, those kind of things that you're used to. And view allows you to change the print layout, but you can change the web layout, reading mode, outline view, draft view. We can choose to zoom in using the zoom options, multiple pages, just the page width, one page as a whole, split a new window will work with multiple documents open, and we can switch between open documents. Currently there is only one document open, so this whole section here is grayed out. And you'll find that the word macros are in the view section as well. Now the biggest change really is in the file. So we now have a lot more options in what used to be called the back office, but effectively it's the file menu expended. The little back arrow here will take you back to your document. Info will tell you about the current document. So we can see its size, number of pages, number of words, how long has been spent editing on it, its title, any tags or comments that have been added, last modified, created, and last printed. We can protect the document for here. We can check for any particular issues and we can even manage the versions of this particular file. If we want a new document, we can go to new. Here's our blank document. And then there are plenty of built-in templates. And you can even search online for other templates that match the style of document you're after. We can open documents. These are our recent documents. I can simply pin, no matter how many more documents I open, that will stay fixed in this panel. And I can unpin it if I no longer need to retain it there. You'll see the SkyDrive option, the computer, or we can add our own location. And you'll find that they are pointing either to SkyDrive locations, so that's either your own SkyDrive in a particular folder within there, or someone else's SkyDrive that you have access to, or an Office 365 SharePoint server. We can save this document, and you'll see that's a straightforward command. Or we can choose save as, where we can choose where to save it, current folder, recent folders, or browse for a different folder. I like this new enhancement here. It's within the whole office suite, really, the ability for it to retain recent folders, a bit like it retains a memory of recent files, so that you can save back to the same place very quickly. Again, we can access our SkyDrive or add a new location. We have print and the various options associated. Here are the page settings, and the right hand side is the preview. Very similar there to 2010 in that they've given the same screen for the page setup on the left here, and the preview on the right. We can also share our document, read it, view it, or edit it from a SkyDrive location, hence the save to cloud, or by email, or by presenting this document online, or by publishing the document as a blog post on a blog website. We can also export the file into PDF or change its file type to perhaps an older format of Word so other people without the latest version can read it, or even into Open Document Text ODT extension. And you can see there are other file types here as well TXT, RTF, etc. We can also choose Close. Now, this, like Save, is a single action, it will close the current document. We can access the Word options, and there are a number of those. Or we can access our account options. That's our Microsoft account options. And we see here we're actually logged in as me. And then there are a number of connected services, which is my office, SkyDrive, and even my Facebook account. So that's the file menu. 
Two of those, save and close, are straightforward commands. The rest are further options to choose from. Or we can click the little back arrow at the top to take us back into our document and therefore not access any of the options. Now the status bar along the bottom here will tell you a number of pages, number of words, any proofing errors, current language being used, whether a macro is running, this icon here, change the mode from read mode to print layout to web layout, and even change the zoom of the document using the slider, or the plus, and the minus. So that's our Word 2013. Initially, the layout seems familiar, which is good. So there's not a massive change in the layout from 2010. There are a few extra options in those ribbons. And the file menu is completely different with a lot more options in there. We'll run through some of the newer and better features, and I'm sure you'll come to like Word 2013 as much as you liked 2010, 2007, 2003.